Hi, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Hyenas by Noisia and Calix and TV. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're gonna be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we jump into Serum, these are the notes that we're gonna be playing. Just like that. Now let's jump into Serum. And now here in Serum, what we're going to do is we're gonna turn this up and load a monster 2 on the wave tables. Nothing super special so far. But then let's map another flow into the wavetail position right here. Let's set this to four bars. So it always changes. And then let's add another LFO into the uh, warping mode. And we're going to use bend plus. Just so it also morphs the wavetable a little bit more. And we get a more interesting movement. We're also going to set this to four bars. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a big... Um, rising shape here and another one here just so we have movement in the um, right parts of the sound based on the notes that I'm playing currently in the DAW. Uh, this may change for you so keep in mind the position of this blue line. That's the one that matters the most. Cool. So now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the FX tab but before that let's turn on the direct output on the sub and let's boost it all the way up. And then on the effects tab, we're going to add hyper distortion, boost the drive of the distortion, turn on a multiband compressor, boost the gain, and then we're gonna turn on the chorus. Next thing, we're gonna add some reverb, and we're gonna add an EQ, and this EQ, um, it's gonna be very cool because we're gonna be using notches. So let's bring the gain of both bands down and then let's change the cue of the first one and what we're going to do is we're going to map LFO number one into them so let's map this into this first band just so it moves like that and then same with this one but uh, to the opposite side so without it and now with it it's a little bit more movement and phase cancellation in a specific harmonic. Now to get the really cool filtering, we're gonna be using a high pass filter and we're gonna be using high pass 24. And essentially we want this type of automation. So what we can do is we can map an LFO into this and just make it very slow and bring it down obviously. But uh, what I decided to do was automating this manually in the DAW because that way I can see the notes. So I'll just click on this, in Ableton, and then go to the notes and then automate it this way. As you can see, it goes from 4.3K down to 38. Cool. Now going back into Serum, the next thing we can do is we can also automate the reverb. Now, once again, I'm just gonna map this into the mix. Uh, set this to two bars and then we're just gonna bring this like very wet to um not so wet just like that now again if you think this modulation is pretty weird it is uh but the reason why it works is because we have the off setting on all the lfos and because of the specific position that these notes are in the DAW, um again this doesn't have to be the same for you. Um, you just gotta keep in mind the position of the blue line and having uh, or understanding the principle that you should just bring the reverb down as the sound progresses, uh, that you should modulate the bend at the end and in some parts of the sound, and then that the weight tail position can be changing all the time. Cool. So now for post processing. We're gonna add one more chorus. 
OTT. And then uh, one EQ that I ended up not using, I was going to boost around this range, but uh, it really is not super necessary. So yeah, that's it. Let me just delete the original one. And this is our recreation. Cool. So that is going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.